What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Brood War ladder cast here. Action gonna be spawning in the top right hand corner versus light down in the bottom right. Light starting off with an eight racks. Gonna put on that early pressure here to action and let's see if action throws down a pool. He will. So over pool here from action. This has become much, much more standard in the matchup, especially on a map like Retro where the rush distance is really not very far. I wanted to take a look at this match, guys, because Light, although he hasn't been performing kind of where we expect him to uh, this season of KCM, the last week of KCM, I thought he did very, very well. Pulled out some interesting moves, stuff that I wasn't expecting out of him. And by that, I mean he played a little bit more greedy. He he tried to um, do some unorthodox stuff, which is not in his character, not what we expect from him, but that's what I like to see. I like to see these players who are sort of getting figured out and they're really well known for one style of play. I love it when they start to mix things up because that's when you really level up. You really get to like the next level of skill. To where you can actually, uh, you know, make gains in terms of where you're at in the relative power levels of your peers. I think that Light is in the process of doing that right now, and that's why we're checking him out here today. We've got a second Rax in the middle of the map. This is exactly what I'm talking about. This is exactly what I'm talking about, guys. Oh my god, these... Two lings are going to come and find it, though. That is super unfortunate. That is super, super unfortunate, then. Um, I really would have liked to see what light would have pulled out here had that not been scouted. But unfortunately, Action didn't know that he was in the bottom right, so he scouted the middle of the map. Eight racks, and then when he sees the pool first, build a second racks in the middle of the map. That was going to be some wild stuff here from light but he's gonna fall back into some more kind of regular play here he's gonna take his command center at the natural and has a little wall in here does want to push it out with about five marines try to force a couple more lings out of action here if he can there's already about five lings so he shouldn't be able to make that happen we'll just wait on the top of the ramp here and try to catch the marines as they come forward uh, that should be the play, but no, he is going to back away here, not having all five links together at the right moment. Going to continue to back up here. Just one extra set of links are coming. He did cancel a uh, sunken here at the front, and wait a minute. These Marines could get behind the mineral patches and make things really difficult here. I don't know why he's running into the main base. I think this is a bit of a mistake. He is going to get completely sandwiched here. Look at these five Marines uh, jumping back and forth right now, trying to figure out what to do here. Well, they're going to get completely surrounded and absolutely wiped out. I really don't know what Light was thinking with these five Marines. If you tuck them behind this mineral patch here, you just run in behind there, it's so hard to deal with. You just sit right there. You're denying so much mining time. Um... Yeah, I really don't understand that play from him. Uh, th there's some there's some weirdness going on with this. You know, playing outside of your style. Light may be feeling some growing pains here. Second gas is on the way. Second barracks is already done. Engineering bay coming up here along with the academy. So he will have medics out soon. But after killing off that many marines... And still having lings on the field, you gotta be feeling very good here as action. You're not, you're definitely not gonna have to build any sunken colonies right now. Just saving up larva, waiting for this spire to finish. You'll have a full six mutilus heading straight across the map here right away. Let's see if he starts plus one. Are we gonna get a plus one out of uh, action after the six muta? And will we switch directly into uh, our next layer of tech? Are we going to do like a two base all in or what's going on here? Because I don't see a drone out on the map. 
Actually, I'm gonna get pretty serious, I think, with this aggression. He starts another drone in production, but he hasn't sent one out to go and claim another base just yet. All right, now is he going? Oh, okay, sunken colony at the front. That's a little bit interesting. He's gonna dive here into the main. There is one turret done already, and light is on top of things here, it seems, on top of this timing. Recognizing that it's gonna be a little quick here, right around six minutes that the mutilists start to arrive, so pretty close to standard, I guess, because he was slow slowed down a little bit. Overpool though, you can get a very, very fast uh first few mutilists out. I'm not sure exactly the timing on that because that's not a build that I do very often, but uh something I might have to mix into my play. Oh, I lost one Muta already. That's really painful. How did he lose that? The rest of the stack is so high on the HP. That's got to be just bad luck. We start to try and pick off some Marines, but he's done almost no damage and lost two Mutas already. Light is taking some good advantages here. And what will Action do uh, as a follow-up? He will take the hatchery here in the top left. Still trying to bang away at that supply depot, but not making much progress. Only able to kill one marine there. And still just full on mutilus production. Some of these mutas are badly injured. He hasn't gone for a dive here just yet. And factory is now on the way. Still no transitionary buildings, no hatch or no no hydralis den, no queen's nest. Um, good snipe there. Try to force some more stims, if he can. Keep this marine medic group back. Light being very cautious with this. He knows he's in a pretty okay situation. He's not taking any damage right now. He doesn't need to push out and force the mutas out of his base or anything like that. But the aggression will be turned up here very, very soon. Action has... Reached about that 11 meter count. And the plus one upgrade is about to finish. So that's when the Zerg can really put it on. They can turn it on. And try to actually deal some serious damage to this Terran player. We'll see if he can f do a flyby. Maybe in the main base. Pick off a bunch of SCVs. Maybe he wants to go for the natural. Usually, generally, you don't just want to stay and fight the Marines. But... Maybe this force is too big. He'll try to overwhelm that. And then make that transitionary play. Alright, he does have Evolution Chamber, Hydro Sten, and Queen's Nest with the Hive on the way. So, the transition is coming here. Really not engaging too much with these Mutilas. I think he's realized that uh, after losing the, the first two Mutilas really, really early on... Uh, there's a very low chance that he would be able to uh, completely overwhelm the Terran army here. Now, Light's starting to move out. He's got a pretty good group of Marine Medic. And he's going to send some of the Marines around the right-hand side to see if he can you know, suddenly blindside action is natural. Hitting the stim button, he's going to make a run for it. Going to run away from these Mutas. Um, we'll group up all of these marines and medics and there's only one sunken colony here dude that's a lot of marines he does pick off one medic can he get another all right picking off a couple of marines here and there but not taking the best trade in the world there's the lurkers popping out just at the right time here i'm gonna pick off the medics makes it very very hard for these marines to push forward any further and they don't even have a single medic with them anymore, so they are easy pickings here. If there was just a small group of lings to pair with these marines, he could actually pick off all of this. We do have some lings over here, but it seems like he's going to let light run back home. Look at how low a lot of these marines are. Just small volleys of mutaglaives and a couple of lings could actually pick off this entire army and... I'm really shocked that we don't see more medics coming out. He does have four here now. They haven't joined up with the army just yet. There we go. He's sending them to that army. Bit of a scary situation here for light. Look at how low all of these are. You almost can't stim with some of these. Maybe you could, but you would 
be on only 5 HP. So he's going to move across the map now with the first two vessels in tow. They have that radiate energy and action is retreating into a full on turtle mode. Which makes sense given the fact that he has this fourth base that he can take for free. Um, setting up a drone on top of the lurker stack. He's going to try to avoid losing lurkers here to the initial uh, irradiates. Jumping in with the mutas. Going to pick off a few units. The marines again are still very, very low. His mutas... Um, being a little bit timid, being a little bit shy with those. Action still not taking the fourth base just yet. He is being pretty conservative here, I'll say. Uh, in how he's expanding and and how he's uh, maneuvering this game. You know, not really going for any dives and killing any SEVs here against Light. Not trying to fight the Marines until he, uh, unless he absolutely has to as well. Ooh, these two science vessels are way out of position. If he was able to find those, he would be able to get a lot of damage done there. Oh, God. Irradiate. Gonna come through here. Double irradiate. Um, eraser trick. There we go. He does get one of those vessels. But meanwhile, Muta is doing some damage here at the third base. Um, I think a lot of those drones went through the Nidus Canal, so most of them are gonna stay alive. Down to just 29 drones, though. 28, in fact. These really need to get over here and kill this science vessel, but he's not paying attention. Oh, my God. I missed it. Another racer trick went down here over at the natural at the same time. That's why so many, SC or so many drones were being picked off. Well, it looks really bad. It looks really, really bad, but it's not the end of the world here for action. He killed off a bunch of the initial vessels, and... I mean, it, minerals are not that big of a deal here uh, as the Zerg player. You're much more concerned with the gas. So he can keep mining gas uh, and re-drone here while keeping his upgrades going. As long as he doesn't get broken anywhere while he's re-droning, then he should be fine. Do we have any drop ships out? No. So we lost like all the vessels. Basically, all the vessels went down, I think. How many kills do we have on these? None. I think every single vessel went down. So that's uh, that's pretty bad. Losing all your vessels is, is pretty rough. It really gives the Zerg player a lot of time to get those upgrades out. And we already have plus two on the way here. Plus two armor and plus one attack is coming. We have Defilers out now. Um, we had Defilers a little bit earlier. But Ultralis Cavern is just about done here. Um, don't have any... Drop ships once again. Light is just going to rely on mass expanding here to try and outmuscle his opponent. Action has been slowed down by quite a bit, so it's given Light enough time to snag quite a few bases out here on this map. Now, running forward, he thinks about going for the dive here, but it's a few too many lurkers. Three lurkers with an overload over top of uh, the one. It's, it's a lot of damage. And very hard to break through. So he's going to think better of that. And you can see that re-droning has taken place. We almost have good saturation at this point. It's not great, but we're getting there. Slowly but surely. And a drop comes in over here at the top left. That's a big drop right now. This drop could do a lot of damage. Do we have a big plague for that? Yes, we do. Great plague there. Look at how quickly everything disappears. Uh, with the plague units being... Just minced here. Another drop going to be loaded up. Will he go for the main? Um, he might get caught here. The mutas are going to find this. Can he actually pick off either of these drop ships before the unload happens? I think the unload will happen. But it's not going to do too much here with lurkers and mutas in position. He just needs to move those up a little bit. Looks like he will. Trying to gun down as many drones as he can, but he's not really going to get much. And Lings are going to clear out the rest of this. Really nice hold here by action. And during this time, we're getting up towards max here for Light. He's putting down even more barracks. He's going to start to pump out. Oh, I imagine he was going to start to pump out 
battle cruisers, but they're not out just yet. Here's another razor trick. Oh man, is he gonna lose an entire drone line again here? Looks like he will lose a ton of drones right now. Another drop over into the top right here. The main base is being dropped. A long line of units uh, coming out from those drop ships and uh, Dark Swarm is gonna save a lot of these drones, but Firebats underneath the Dark Swarm, pretty deadly. Five HP left on that. Another drop coming in here right now. Oh my God, Light is really taxing him. And the uh, Eraser trick here, once again, is gonna get a lot of damage. It's too bad he didn't jump through Nidus immediately when that was occurring, but so much chaos happening at the moment. Light is really putting the screws to action here and it's working very, very well. 27, 28 drones now. Um, even kills the spawning pool, which let me tell you, that thing it takes a long time to build. It's kind of deceptive in how long it takes. Um, it really does take a kind of crazy amount of time to get that operational again, but uh, looks like some lings are going to make their way down here. He should be able to clear out the marines, but the fire bat's popping. Will save the day here. Four kills on that fire bat. Is he just popped out of the barracks, but... Redroning once again. Redroning for the, what, third time here? This is pretty rough stuff for action. He's just right on the edge of being able to stay in this game right now. He's sending ultras out on the map, but he can't afford ultraless speed. He's got the carapace. He's got plus four armor, but he really can't afford um, these really important upgrades like that speed. Oh, he's going to get this dropship. That's a big pickoff. That was a full dropship. Getting rid of that, not only uh, getting all of those kills, but also removing that threat from the map is a really big deal. These ultras are going to get picked off probably for free here. He starts to run away, but ultraless speed will finally come through. I'm going to go ahead and re-drone, but can't abstain from building units for too long. Oh, this is a really good play from Action. He's going to get up here with some lurkers and a defiler, but can he hold the natural at the same time? He's got defiler. He can throw down one dark swarm, but there's a lot of fire bats here and only a few ultras. It's like the drones are going to be fighting a little bit. That's quite a few ultras, actually. I think he can maybe hold on here, especially with that one popping out. There's not that many Marines right now. Oh, another racer trick over here. You've got to be kidding me. Finally, the uh, burrow is done. Damn, that burrow should have been done a long time ago, but it will finally come into play. Uh, Lings and ultras can clean up this natural over here. We're really starting to run dry right now. Almost hardly anything left at this point. Some Scourge gonna pop out. He really needs to connect with a few of these vessels at this point. This attack down here to the bottom left has done some amazing work. Wow, Boxer Micro here from Light. Look at this man right now. What a psycho. Dodging this Lurker over and over again. Oh my goodness, Light. You wacky, wacky Terran player, you. How the heck did you do that? How the heck did you pull that off? This final bit of army down here in the natural is going to get cleaned up. But again, we are starting to run low on everything and everywhere. Are there any lurkers over here? He pulled the lurkers from the base over here down to the bottom left. And now he's kind of left himself open. The Marines and Medic's gonna make their way into this base and a scan comes down. He will kill every drone. Ultra's making their way over here. Some Scourge gonna come to assist as well. Looks like we might be able to kill one or two of those vessels, but losing the drone line for what seems like the fifth time will finally end Action's reign here. He's done. Light's done it. He's gonna celebrate by killing off one last round of drones with that eraser trick. So frustrating to deal with here as a Zerg player, but you gotta get that burrow upgrade. It's only 100-100. It's tempting not to get it, but you absolutely need it 
when it comes to these scrappy fights having the bro can be the, the difference maker of course oh my god he's just massacring the drones in the main base um celebrating his victory here he did a great job played a great game love to see it love to see light mixing it up man trying some new stuff like i said at the beginning of this game um he's looking a lot more aggressive than he used to be the light from the past would have been so much more passive he's not taking risks he's not doing things that are going to potentially lose him the game when he could potentially probably win uh just by being better and playing faster than his opponent I, that was working for a while but it seems to not really work anymore it seems like players have kind of reached his level and he wasn't performing quite at where he would like to be so it's nice to see him trying out some new stuff getting a little bit creative and taking some games off of really strong players like action guys thank you so much for watching today this has been your daily dose of brood war and i'll see you tomorrow